Our classic Catskills, remembering, preserving. Our landscape has changed. The Catskills has changed. At one time, this region was the premier vacation destination in the United States. From the 1930s through to the late 1970s, nearly 1,000 hotels lined our roads. There was the majestic 1,200-room Concord Hotel, the jewel of the Catskills, with its multiple pools, golf courses, and tennis courts, and white towers that stood out among the tall pine trees. There was Grossinger's, the Grand Dame of the region, which started as a small boarding house on a hill in Ferndale, and in a short time became the most famous of the Borscht Belt hotels. There was Kutcher's, there was Brown's, Stevensville, Pines, Brickman, Nevely, Fallsview, Granite, Raleigh, Tamarack, Homowack, Evans, Laurels, Paramount, Gibbers, Carmel, all family-run resorts that became synonymous with the Catskills. Today, they're all gone. Some have long closed, some have fallen into default, some burned to the ground. The Times Herald Record is the newspaper of record for this golden era of celebrity, tradition, and lifestyle. We want the legacy to live on. We want to make sure the hotels that made up the Grand Catskills are not forgotten. Our aim is simple, but as grand as the era we hope to preserve in the hearts and minds of those who lived it and those who wish they could have. We want to lead a grassroots effort to create a lasting legacy to our classic Catskills. Through stories, through videos, through the voices of people like uh, Elaine Edis, whose mother, Jenny Grossinger, was the first lady of hospitality, through Helen Kutcher, whose hotel still stands today and who still brings in guests. We're able to tell you these stories and we're going to do it through their voices. You're going to see the hotels, you're going to see what they were like in their heyday, you're going to see what they look like today. Broken windows. And they never existed with us. When you work there, you know. So a piece of paper on for you, pick it up. The windows were broken. And then we go we went up and we went past the skating rink and there are weeds growing and the, the railings are all messed up. And then you look into the indoor swimming pool and it's all mossy and moldy. And I thought, this is what's happened. I mean, at least come in and bulldoze the whole thing. You just have rubble, but don't have skeletons there. We started by creating a special one-of-a-kind 48-page commemorative edition to document, educate, and entertain readers with the glorious history of the Catskill Resorts, the connection they had to the communities that surrounded them, and the people and the organizations that are working to make sure this era is not forgotten. So they give you a note. A note is a promissory note, which means that you make out a note that I owe Fallsburg Gas yes, $500, and on August 1st, night and the following year, they hope to have some money during the summer, I'll pay that note. This lasting tribute takes the reader back in time through images never seen before and insights only our readers with deep expertise and first-hand knowledge can deliver. The magazine consists of three main narratives documenting the resort's rise and fall. The 1930s, when the Catskills began to attract sweltering New Yorkers eager for a nearby vacation. The heyday in the 1950s and 60s, when top entertainers, performers, and political figures frequented. The decline of the region from the 1970s to the present day, with current efforts to create a lasting tribute. Each of the narratives relies on extremely rare photos and unique insights from our writers. We also created the definitive website on the subject, which offers multimedia content to revisit this golden era. This multi-platform project includes exclusive video interviews in Florida with key hotel owners, including Helen Kutcher, who tells her story of why Wilt Chamberlain called her mom. Yes, yes, I was. So he, so he called us that. 
He always felt that way toward us. We always embraced him and he us, and he came up for every game. There was really no boundaries between work and, and family. You're, you know, every, every night, in the, uh, if you have dinner at the family, you'd be talking about things that are going on at the hotel. But my earliest memories were going, going to eat in the hotel and you know, certain foods that uh, you know, when you're you know, five, six, seven years old, you, you know, your chocolate milk and your macaroni and cheese, just like anybody else, that's, you know, that's what I remember. And those were great memories. It's classic Catskills. And if we don't do something now, it's going to be gone. I remember the years when there were three, four hundred hotels and maybe two, three thousand bungalow colonies in this area. And it was great living. And unfortunately, it, it's coming. It's not the way it was. It's coming to an end, unfortunately. My generation is probably the last generation that will come to the hotels.